And then I found this vintage single stitch baseball t-shirt. I mean, wait. Oh, it doesn't say. Final four, that's basketball. That's a basketball on it. <laughs> so it's not baseball at all. Sports. The mountains are calling and we must go. And the antique malls and the thrift stores and the vintage shops. Just sit back and enjoy the ride as we thrift our way through the land of Dolly and the Smoky Mountains. It's gonna be a fun one. This whole rack all the way down there is plus size. So we have a lot of plus size here. Please fit me. Here's the bag section, all of this, and then they have a couple racks there, so really decent size. The average price, they're all a $4.99 price in wise. it's $1.99 okay I really just did a speed round in the store and when I do that I will go off into the dresses first thing so I can sort of like gauge how much of the women how much women's vintage there might be and let me show you what I found
So yeah, when I'm doing a speed round in a store, I will look in the women's dresses first. That usually gives me an idea of how much women's vintage might be in the store. And then I know like how much I wanna dig deep. But there was more vintage than I even expected. Like within the first five, 10 minutes in the store, I like filled my cart up. I cruised through the men's side and didn't find as much stuff as I normally like over there. But I had like a full cart. I showed you everything that I kind of was considering and I'm actually ready to like narrow it down and check out. So that was a little quick picture of this Goodwill in Bristol. So I guess they have a color of the week sale and then on Sundays they also have dollar items. All of the clothes with the red tag today are only $1. We're gonna have to super speed round this because they're closing soon. So this is way too big of a store for me to see everything. So let's just see a sampling of what we find. like western cottage core <laughs> cute it says party penguin let's ski <laughs> adorable wow there's like just a lot happening there <laughs> cute oh my god it's a dollar hmm it's a fun uh, Bob Mackie Western wear. Some good old Leslie Faye. Cute. This is really stinking cute. Look how it's got the hummingbird embroidered on it. That's adorable. And it's one dollar. Cute vintage blouse. This whole back wall is dresses. This one's a dollar. one's on sale for three bucks. This is a jumpsuit. That pattern is really fun. Oh, I think this is cute actually. It looks like it probably had like a little um, jacket over the top of it maybe originally, but it could be really fun to layer up for fall. Not a huge bag selection. They're all five dollars. This one is cute. Shoes are. Four ninety nine. So in addition to those two fantastic Goodwills, 
We also have to talk about one more stop that we made in Knoxville at French Fried Vintage. I didn't really get a chance to film in there. I took a few shots of the store so you could see inside and get a little bit of the vibe. It's really cool in there. Their selection is incredible. Their pricing is also fantastic for the quality of vintage pieces that they have. And the staff and owners are incredibly friendly. So I did get in touch with the owners after we went there and asked for one if I could show the footage I took. And for two, we talked about me possibly coming back to do more of a full video filming in that store. So hopefully we'll go back there in the future. But if you're in the Knoxville area, this is definitely worth checking out. They have an Instagram you can go check out now, and that's where they're starting to post a lot of their items that are gonna be available for sale online if you are not in the Knoxville area. I will have a few items in the haul that came from the vintage shop. So let me show you those first. I got this red vintage sweatshirt. You already know, obviously vintage sweatshirts and t-shirts are my thing, and that's what I bought at the store. But this one, I was just like, so in love with with this bright red color and how soft and cozy it is and the fit of it it's just like the ultimate perfect vintage sweatshirt and of course they know that and that's why they've selected it to put in their store so I had to have this one and as you can tell it is acrylic but I'm telling you if you find this brand action and with this style of tag and that's acrylic it is the softest like the most plush little sweatshirt ever I got this gray McGregor cropped tee. It is a single stitch all the way around. I'm guessing that it was originally made to be a cropped t-shirt, uh, which definitely makes me think of like 80s athletic wear. But of course I still, I love wearing that style now. And this is just like the softest, most cozy type of t-shirt material with this like classic heather gray and then the classic like navy lettering on it. It's just like, it feels so crisp and like, and like clean cut, but then the cropped fit of it also feels like cool and trendy at the same time. So yeah, I'm really excited to wear this one. This to me is one of the coolest vintage tees I've seen in a while. It has one of those 70s glitter silk screens on it. The shirt itself is in actually very good condition, but it also feels like a delicate artifact. Like I'm a little bit, I was very nervous to wash it because it's that super like thin knit that gives it that vintage 70s style and it's dated 79. Here's the tag, but it's just completely faded. This gives me that total like grunge sort of dirt bag vibes, if you will. So I definitely want to style it accordingly or it'd be really cool underneath a blazer or something like that and kind of actually dress it up a little bit. You know what I think would be so cute with this is if I had like a hat like this style, but have you seen the ones that are like black leather or faux leather? Um, I really want to find one of those secondhand because uh, I think it looks so cute with a lot of outfits. But I don't have one, but just to give me an idea if this was like a black leather version of this, it'd be really cute with this look. I love these all. And then also pretty much right across the street, there was a mid-century modern furniture and home decor store called Mid Mod Collective. I found this little Italian Batosi vase. It's something that I had like always kind of hoped to thrift. This one, I just fell in love with it instant. I saw it and I thought the price was fair. I got it for about, I think 30 or $35. And these are valued much, much higher um, when you look on the internet. So brought this home and just the other day I was in a local to me thrift store and found another Batosi piece of pottery that it doesn't exactly match but coordinates with the piece that I bought. So it's this bowl. You can see it's got a little chip here 
which is probably why they were selling it. I got it for two dollars um, and it has this like a gold inlay like I just think it's so beautiful and I love these two pieces next to each other on my on the shelf in my entryway. So yeah I can't believe I got this for two dollars. So those were kind of my last finds in Tennessee. And then of course we moved back up to Virginia and I'm gonna show you the haul from those two Goodwills here in a moment. But I was also gonna share that as far as the end of our trip, we did not go to Dollywood, which is kind of the like landmark thing in that area. So we'll keep it on the bucket list for the future. What we did do instead, we made a pilgrimage to the Dolly Parton statue paid our respects to Dolly. And then we also went for a ride on this little roadside roller coaster that's right near Dollywood. And it's just a one-off attraction. You can just stand in one quick line and take this roller coaster ride. It was so much fun. We did it twice. The total ride actually lasts about 10 minutes and you're in an individual car where you can like control how fast and slow you go. So we got our roller coaster ride. We paid our respects to Dolly. That drive in that area is absolutely gorgeous. We drove through the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Then we were in the town of Gatlinburg and we went to the Sky Bridge attraction there. It is like a ski lift type of ride up the mountain and then there is a long footbridge and there's a 30 foot section in the middle that is clear plexiglass so you look like you're walking on air as you're going over it. And again with the beautiful foliage and the fall scenery it was just spectacular. We caught a magical sunset and it was incredibly romantic to be spending that time with my fiance's sister. <laughs> All right, now let me show you the rest of my haul. This is a pretty big one from those two Goodwills in Southwest Virginia. I got this like Illuminati t-shirt. I'm not quite sure exactly what it is, but I just thought like the the way it's like faded and the graphic is like broken and then faded, I thought looked really cool. And I love a good like black graphic tee to layer under stuff. So I thought I would snag this one. Just so perfectly worn in. And based on the tag, I think it actually might be from more like the 90s, maybe Y2K. And then I got this vintage 91 basketball t-shirt. It's got a single stitch and just a really soft material. I love this like blue and white together. I think makes it a really fun, again, like layering graphic tee. You guys saw in the other video in this series where I found that like tropical print blouse with the parrots on it but then it didn't fit me like I have not stopped thinking about that and I kind of wish I got it to resell because I thought it was so cool but hopefully somebody will find it and love it in their store anyway I did find another little kind of pastel tropical print shirt and this one has lions all over it and I thought this is just too cool I have never seen anything like it and it's a vintage blouse so it's not like one of those things that like modern skate shops puts out like this was like a vintage I think women's blouse and it's so cool I really wanted to keep it for myself but it totally reminded me of my friend Mary who you guys know from another video we talked about Mary's rack on Instagram. I sent her a video of it and she was like yes I want that so as soon as I'm done filming it I gotta see if she wants me to ship it to her. Oh this blouse is so good. It's like it's a little tight on me so I'm just I wanted to kind of show you give you an idea what it's like. It's got some like super wide hem. So I don't know if this originally might have been a long sleeve that somebody cut, but then I don't know why they didn't just cut it into normal hems. Maybe it was like a three quarter sleeve. Anyway, I probably like you could wear it extra long, which is kind of nice, but I probably would cuff these. Yeah, and just I would cuff these like that and just make it a regular kind of half sleeve. Ah, it's very cool. 
I feel like a cool dad on the weekend, you know? I got this vintage silk blouse from Gitano, which is one of those brands I just love to find. Like it's it's not super rare, but it's not very common for me to find it. So I always like get a little bit excited whenever I see it. A lot of their designs are just sort of like pinnacle 80s and 90s styles to me, whether it's like the pattern and colors or the fit of their jeans and stuff like that. So uh, a silk blouse too was like a really nice find and you can't beat this like outrageous a color and pattern that's on here it also again is one of those vintage pieces that feels like it's right in modern trends with a loud bold pattern so i'm thinking of like tying this up or just tucking it into jeans basically this also would be a really fun one to put under like a pinafore style dress or jumpsuits or vests things like that that could like sort of temper this down with another layer over the top and then like let the sleeves kind of shine and pop out so yeah, we're gonna give this a try in styling it. <laughs> I got this cute little vintage blouse. I think it's from the 80s based on the style of it and it doesn't have a union workers tag, so I don't think it's older than that, but I've never seen this brand before. If you know it and it's actually a modern brand, let me know. Jonquil. But it's all about this little eyelet detail right there up on the chest. I don't think this one fits me, but it's so cute. I could just like picture styling it like in a little bit of a rockabilly way and like wearing it for a picnic or something, which is totally out of season, but you also could layer it up and make it look a little bit holiday. So I wanted to snag it and put it in one of my online shops or a Galaxy Live sale. So yeah, this one doesn't fit me, but I thought I would just show you kind of what it looks like. This was a last minute find on my way to the register. I spotted this cool striped denim pearl snap and I love how it's like super oversized. I feel like I have too many that are just like really fitted. And I love how the stripe hat brings in some color to it with different shades of blue and there's some like burgundy red in there. And it is just 100% cotton made one. So it's just really nice and well constructed. It has that like fun Western vibe that I love. got this puff sleeve denim jacket that is like painted with this floral pattern all over it oh my gosh it has like little snap buttons it's got little pockets i just think it's so adorable it did go up in my galaxy sale so hopefully somebody snagged this piece this fuchsia cardigan it has a really cool like thick cable knit detail around kind of the shoulders there but really I just thought this color was so fun I love a v-neck button-down cardigan like this to be worn buttoned up as a top and I thought this one would be really cute and you could do like a contrasting color type of camisole underneath it or t-shirt little vintage ditzy floral top it has some cute gold buttons down the front and this like burgundy piping detail it has a little puff sleeve and some like light shoulder pads and I loved how it was this like rib knit material it almost looks like something that you would wear as like pajamas except that the way that it's constructed makes it look like a nice blouse kind of and i thought this would be so cute just tucked into some dark denim almost looks like a holiday floral with this like burgundy detail as well so cute surprise i got that vintage sweatshirt <laughs> this is another lee sweatshirt which i thrifted one in another video in this series and i just think the lee ones are like particularly good quality although this one isn't as thick as the other but anyway it's really about this like crazy penguin design sorry party penguin design <laughs> this is a party penguin clearly 
Party penguin. A hundred percent party penguin. <laughs> I did get that crazy, funky flip-flop card again. I just thought it was so extra and like wild and I thought like somebody has to have this. So it, it was in my Galaxy sale so by the time this video comes out it might be on its way to somebody. Uh, hopefully somebody bought it. But look at like the black and white checkered. I feel like that actually is so on trend and then I know like the flip-flops are extra but it also kind of looks like something like an Elisa says Goss type of style. And I do, again, I think these like loud, like checker prints and stuff like that, this high contrast is really kind of a on trend. And I love a vintage piece that is also currently on trend. I got this vintage plus size funky 80s dress. All of the buttons are like different colors that match the sleeves. I loved that. I thought it just, has like so many fun details to it. It'd be really cute to style with some like tall boots or like put your hair up with some like statement earrings and make it look a little bit art house or something, but so cute and fun. The series continues. We've got one last stop to make on this road trip and we are going actually to my all time favorite Goodwill, my personal vintage holy grail. And it's going to be a really good thrift day. So I will see you guys back here on Thursday for the last episode. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications if you wanna be in the loop and I'll see you then. And then I found this vintage single stitch baseball t-shirt. I mean, that's cool. Wait. Oh, it doesn't say. Final four, that's basketball. That's a basketball on it. <laughs> so it's not baseball at all. Sports. It's been a, a few weeks since I've been home since that tr Tennessee trip. And I, <clears throat> and this is kind of related, but more recently, actually just the other, oh my gosh. And then this is related, I, uh, I got it, I got it, here we go one of those vintage brands I love to find. Oh, the sleeve's tucked in. All right, now let me show you the rest of my haul. This is, oh my gosh. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> The drive in that area is absolutely gorgeous. We drive, <clears throat> and I'll see you guys again there soon. No. Uh, all right, start over.